Uh, one more question. Uh, I know you like heard our leader from Florida, and uh, I'm going to ask a question that really doesn't affect college kids today, but will in a few years. Social Security and the problem with the funding, good and I'm not sure I'll see it, uh, but I might. I'm only about five years away. So. Um, Social Security was one of the issues I dealt uh, most closely with during my time with Senator Sununu. This is back in 2003-2004 when there was some, men some momentum and some willingness nationally to address this issue. We're heading to a demographic framework. Uh, when Social Security was started, there were 30 people working for everybody in retirement. Well, the bad news is we're living longer, um, and <laughs> as a consequence, of living until we're 85, 90, the fastest growing segment of the population is 100 plus. It means people are retired for 20, 30, 40 years um, and drawing benefits on Social Security the whole time. We're down to three workers for everybody receiving a Social Security check. It's going to be two. I'm 35 years old. I'm not counting on Social Security to be there because if we don't do anything, it won't be there. The good news is we've got a little bit of time. In nine years, according to the latest Social Security Trustees report, nine years, Social Security stops bringing in more money than it pays out. And that is when Congress is going to have to start raising our taxes to make up for the money they've been taking out of the Social Security Trust Fund for the past 60 years. We can let the demographics work for us and let younger workers save for their own retirement. The bill I worked on, the Ryan Sununu Social Security Savings Plan, let workers keep roughly half of their payroll taxes in their own personal account and let the power of compound interest and investment in the market save for their own retirement. The other half goes to those at or near retirement. Critics of this plan will first of all try to scare seniors and say we're going to take away their Social Security. That's a flat out lie. And secondly, they'll say we can't afford the transition cost. It's several trillion dollars and we can't afford the transition cost. We're paying the transition costs. They're just off the books. This plan would acknowledge those tr transition costs, put them on the books, and start us on a path where Social Security can sustain itself. This is not a new idea. The first person that proposed that workers uh, keep a piece of their own Social Security benefits was Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Uh, he got overruled by Congress. Um, Social Security.